Hello everyone. Today we create a script that allows to gather information from a linked Revit model. Imagine the situation when you receive a Revit file that you link to your main model to generate a report of clashes between linked and main models. The task might become quite time consuming. We would create a script that gathers all elements of the specified category from the linked model and check if it intersects with any elements of the specified category in the main model. We would also filter elements and gather specified parameters information to include in our table, which we then export to an Excel file. For today's script, we would use three extra packages, Archilab, Rhythm, and Biomorph nodes. Let's get started. To begin with, we need to gather all elements of specified category in the current model. Search for Categories and All Elements of Category nodes and select rows from a drop-down menu. We would use this category in today's example. Create a group and name it Get All Elements of Category. Now let's also filter our rows to make sure we only select the one which has a type mark value. Search for Get Parameter Value by Name Typo Instance node from Rhythm Package. As you can see from the name of this node, we can access both type and instance parameters of given elements. Connect elements to element input, then create a code block and type type mark, connected to parameter name input. When you press run, you will see some empty values which we need to filter. Search for is null or empty node and connect it. Get list.filter by bow mask and connect bow to mask input and all elements of category output to list. That way we only get rows that have type mark values. Create a group and name it filter through all rows. Now we need to get linked elements. Search for links node from rhythm package. This node will have a drop down list of all Revit links in the current document. Get categories node and select ducts. This is the category that I use for today's example. Then search for link element dot of category node from Bimorph nodes. Connect link to link instance and categories to category. Once you press run, you would see all linked elements of the specified category from that link. Create a group and name it get all linked elements of category. Now let's get intersection results from these two set of elements. Search for element.intersects element, connect link element to element set A input and out output from filter by Womask node to element set B input. When you press run, you would see a list of intersection results, which we now need to convert to actual elements. Search for element intersection result dot intersecting elements and element intersection result dot element. Connect both of them, and under element intersection result dot intersecting elements node, you would see rows that intersect with given linked elements and empty values, which represent rows that do not intersect. Under element intersection result dot element, you would see a list of all linked duct elements that still needs to be filtered. Create a group and name it get intersecting elements. Now let's remove all elements that do not intersect. Search for list dot is empty and connect it to intersecting elements node output. Also make sure that list dot is empty node is at longest racing. With a list of true and false data, we now can use list.filter by bull mask node. Connect bull output to mask and element to list. This would give us a clean list of intersected rows. However, we still need to filter intersecting ducts as well. Since values are sorted in the same order, we could reuse is empty node for both of these nodes. Duplicate list.filter by bull mask node and now connect element intersection result element output to list. And now we have a list of only intersecting ducts as well. Create a group and name it Remove Non-Intersecting Elements. We can start getting parameter information of elements now. Search for list.flatten and connect out output to list. Then get element.name to get the name of the rows we have in the list. Search for elements dot get parameter value by name type or instance and create a code block. Type down type mark and connect it to parameter name. Then connect list output to element. 
also search for element.id in case we need to find that element in the Revit model. Connect list output to the node as well. You can get and add as many parameters as you like. Create a group and name it Get Intersection Elements Parameters Values. Now let's get linked elements parameters. Search for link element.get parameter value by name and connect out output to link element. Create a code block and type mark. Then connect to parameter name input. Duplicate these two nodes and let's type system type parameter since we are using ducts. However, we also need to get element.name node and connect it to var output to get actual names and not element types. Let's get element.id node in case we need to find this element in the linked file as well. Create a group and name it get linked elements parameters values. Now search for list.create and add extra 5 items. Then connect all output values from all parameters to list.create inputs. If you press run, you would see a parameter values in a list of lists. Now we need list.transpose node that would transform our lists by element. Let's also make column header names. Create a code block and type linked element ID, linked element mark, linked element system type, intersecting element name, intersecting element type mark, and intersecting element ID. Make sure each name is on an individual row and within quotation marks. Get list.create, add 5 items and connect all header names. Create a group and name it add headers. Now we need to add it to our main list. Search for list.add item to front node, connect our headers to item and transpose list to list. Create a group and name it Combine Data for Excel file. All what's left is to export this data to Excel. Search for data.export to Excel node and connect our list to data. Get Boolean, change it to true and connect to override and write to string inputs. Create a code block and type sheet1 and connect it to sheet name, then type 0 and connect to start row and start column inputs. That way we push the information to a sheet 1 in our Excel and we start placing data from cell A1. Now search for file path and connect to file path input. Create a group and name it export Excel file. The script is now done, save it and prepare for Dino player. Let's also rename some of our nodes to make it more clear to understand. Rename categories node to intersecting elements category. Make sure is input is selected. Do the same for links and categories node. Also rename categories to link elements category. Select file path node and make it an input as well. Once the script is saved, open it through Dino Player. For today's example, I linked Revit model with ducts elements that have specified mark values. As you can see, not all of them intersect with walls. You could also see that some walls don't have type mark values as well. When you select a script, you will see a list of inputs we need to specify. First, we need to create an empty Excel file and specify file path to that. Then select the intersecting category in your main model. In this example, it is walls category. After that, specify the category of link elements, ducts in my case. And the final bit is to select the Revit link. After you press run, you would see an Excel file with generated data. As you can see, duct elements that are not intersecting with walls are not appearing in the list. You could also see that some ducts that actually intersect with walls does not appear as well. It is because this walls does not have a type mark parameter value. This is what we were filtering in the beginning of our script. You can modify or remove that filter in case you want. If you want to find the intersecting elements in your view, you could type intersecting element ID in Revit and it will show you its location. I actually wrote the wrong value in this example, but once you select that wall and check, you could see matching numbers. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Thank you.